Hello, my name is Christopher Klaus. I'm a middle school science teacher. I live in Keene, New Hampshire, but I teach at Marlboro School right here in the Raisins. I am the only science teacher in the school. Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, the same students for three years in a row. I started out my career at a school for the deaf, skilled at American Sign Language. I grew up near the coast in New Hampshire, majored in marine and freshwater biology, Go Wildcats, Shoals Marine Lab on Appledore Island, so many gulls. My first real taste for field research, I've been back to the Shoals twice with biological illustration taught by the illustrators of my marine science text, Patrillus Schlosserai. Strongylus introdus strobachiensis on page uh, 138. I caught that one, this very one. I also took a sharks class. It was amazing. I'm a little nerdy. I have a few science ties and shoes. I have a Harry Potter classroom. I'm a Ravenclaw, if anybody's wondering. Maybe my decorations are a little excessive. Lots of hands-on science fairs, invention conventions, robotics, and sea perch. Raise trout in the classroom every year and release them. I was chosen as a 2018 National STEM Scholar. Great experience with my cohort. We are still really tight and trying new things. Last year, I structured my 6th, 7th, and 8th grade curricula around the local watershed. We have a stream running through campus, which is where we release the brook trout. Students studying chemistry did water chemistry. The students studying ecology studied macroinvertebrates. In physics, we calculated the flow rate and studied the g-forces. We used floating camera mounts that the students designed themselves. And they also designed mounts to hold the camera at the bottom of the water. We took time-lapse photographs of erosion. I thought it was pretty cool. I got to share my project at the National Science Teachers Association conference. My two favorite students are Alaria and Alicia, my two daughters. My wife is not a science nerd, but she let me name our children after marine organisms. Alaria is a great little kelp that loves waves, and Alicia is the coolest nudibranch. It eats chloroplasts and keeps them alive. Photosynthetic animal, amazing. We adopted a dog and, well, you know, we had to. I raised my kids to love and understand the ocean since they were little, and they know what their dad's all about. My proudest moment as a dad is when my daughter won the state science fair. She was presented an award by the meteorologist for WMUR. One of my big goals in middle school is to highlight women in science. I am really into invertebrates, and I dream of one day having a second career as a microscopic photographer. I like to snorkel, I don't scuba dive, and I've never been seasick. My favorite fish by far is the lumpfish. They're kind of ugly. Their babies are adorable. A little suction cup right up under the gills where they stick on something and just stop swimming. They're the best. I am also a prolific poet. It's a little bit nerdy. Christopher! I host weekly open mics and poetry slams. Oh, it's hot. And it's free samples of Dunkin' Donuts culotta and it's yes. I've represented New Hampshire at the National Poetry Slam six times, which is a lot. Thank you. <laughs> I've really miss being in the field on vacation at Cape Cod and I just hang out at Woods Hole and sit in on lectures mostly. The opportunity to become a science communication fellow would really connect me with my students in a new way and some of the kids never even get to see the ocean except for the field trips that I take them on. It's really important for me to connect them with not just their local watershed but also where does that water go and what happens when it gets into the ocean. What are those organisms that they have never seen or interacted with before, but are vitally important for our planet. Thank you very much.